Good yeah. afternoon and welcome to this Spotlight interview series. On behalf of the TCI Secretariat, I would like to thank you for taking the time to be here today with us for the Spotlight interview. So let's start with the introductions. Can you please tell us your name, where you are located, and the organization you're associated, associated with, and briefly about the organization's work? Thank you so much, dear Fisa. It's nice and a pleasure to meet you. A uh, person I'm called Rose Mutes. Uh, I'm the chairperson of NUSPA, which is a national organization of users and survivors of psychiatry in Rwanda. And at the same time, chairperson of uh, Pan PPD, Pan African Network for Persons with Psychosocial Disability in Africa. Uh, and at the same time, stands for the interest of uh, the forum, which is the disability forum for Commonwealth countries. Uh, we are we are advocating for persons with psychosocial disabilities, uh, removing the barriers and discriminations among persons with psychosocial disability. So when I come back to my country, my origin in Rwanda and Africa that I'm heading uh, of, of persons with psychosocial disability is to advocate for and with persons with psychosocial disability uh, and to provide a platform for a unified and empowered voices that it is able achieve the provision of necessary services and opportunities and to have their interests and human rights fully promoted and protected. That is our mission. Yes, and the, our vision is to see the world in which all people with psychosocial disabilities are treated with respect, dignity, that enables them to enjoy their human rights in all aspects of their lives. That is what we do. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. My next yeah. question is, during the country mission in Rwanda, we heard many stories of women with psychosocial disabilities undergoing sexual assault and rape, especially within healthcare facilities. How has your organization been advocating for rights of women with psychosocial disabilities in your country? Uh, not only in my country, but it is like all over. There is a denial of persons with psychosocial disability. It's a, it's a category that is being discriminated among the family and, and even in, in the society. So I can't say it is on Rwanda, on Red, where but it is the category where we have like a kind of denial in the family and, and, uh, and the community at large. So what we are doing, uh, though we are advocating for their rights, but we still have challenges. When you talk about sexual violation, if someone is in a crisis and being left, who follows? Who, who is the responsible? Are, are they looking to as the, as the, an issue to this to someone who doesn't fit in the community? So we still have those challenges. So if I'm violated or someone else is violated in during the crisis, where where are they reporting? After reporting, it may be if you happen to get the, 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 someone to report, who follows? No one is following about the violation of persons with psychosocial disability. When you say about forced sterilization, people with psychosocial disability, their families are forcing them to be forced sterilized for them not to deliver, to have children because they are they see it as a burden. They don't want to be a burden for their families. But if I get treated and cured, if I go back to my co community 
and maybe get engaged by a man. That means I won't get a child because in the, my early history, I was forced to have forever family planning, which is post sterilization, of which we see is, is kind of human rights violation. And here, I mean, uh, they are not doing so because it is in my in my in my concern oh my like i'm willing to do that no it's my family it's those ones who are uh, surrounded uh, surrounding the, the, the surroundings are the ones who are forcing me to be sterilized but we feel like uh, this should be changed and whoever does this should be should be reported and and be punished because it is under human right violation. We have women who have children and they are neglected by their fathers because they, they, they have that say that, how can I have children with someone who is mad? But again, when they were, uh, when, when they were forcing me into sexual violation, they, they didn't think that that madness into me, no. They, they say it after getting the results of the, these first sexual assaults. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I have answered you well, but you can. I can't hear you. Thank you for sharing in detail about your organization's work. My next maybe, question. Maybe uh, when you 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 add on about discrimination of families uh, persons with psychosocial disabilities are not allowed to decide for themselves they do not have the rights for their properties women and girls with psychosocial disability are subjected to forced sterilization as I mentioned it before. Person with psychosocial disabilities are not allowed to go to court by themselves, to represent themselves. They, they, they say that they have to, to be someone else to, to, to be on your behalf. But not always the person with psychosocial disabilities are ever in crisis, no? Sometimes I get, I, I feel better and I can do everything with my own minds and thinking. There is also like long for, long, long for imprisonment. Here I mean imprisoning of persons with psychosocial disability without any reason, just because I'm in a crisis and I can't explain what is going on. Maybe I'm quiet, I'm silent in my crisis. How about it? How about it? How about those ones who are just from their work because of having that, that in mind that Rose is in, is, in a, is in a season of crisis, then I'm chased away. But not always that I can be in a crisis. We have ever seen other, other patients from work they get three months without reporting because they are under treatment. How about persons with psychosocial disability? Why can't you give them a chance to be treated and go back for their, their work? We have, we have many things to be, to be advocating for. I think this, this should be done not only activists, but everybody should stand and be ambassador of persons with psychosocial disability. I'm not even talking about only women and girls. I'm talking all, all over, female and male, young and adults. Yes, it's not a crime to have mental disability. It comes by, by coincidence, due to several circumstances, due to challenges, due to uh, poverty, due to divorce, due to the, the treatment of, of their families. 
So I think there should be kind of kindness and be near to that person who is under crisis. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for sharing in detail about the work mm. that you are doing. And uh, thank you for pointing out the issues that people with psychosocial disabilities are facing. So as you have shared the issues, can you please tell us what you need from the government and other stakeholders to tackle these issues, such as legal capacity laws, access to justice, digitalization, awareness, sexual and reproductive health services? Uh, well, um, from the government, uh, we always say the government is like a parent. The parents should not leave a child because of misbehaving. No, should stand with the child and divorce him until not until he 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 or she become an adult and get a family as well. So persons with psychosocial disability or mental disability is is I can say it is like a, a big challenge globally, not Africa not Rwanda, but globally. So we need to stand and fight for the discrimination. We have to stand and fight for the cause of psychosocial disability because we have to, before we treat people with psychosocial disability, what are the causes? The, then the government should be responsible. If if they are responsible for other diseases like HIV, diabetes, and whatever, how about mental disability? Because it is it is it is it is that day to day case that goes up. We have a lot of new cases a day and night. So solving these issues, one of them is create jobs for young young girls and boys to avoid these drugs because youth they don't have something to, to be to do. How about it? Creating jobs. How about uh, creating small income generating activities to young and youth? So how about this divorce and other issues? How, how how are we overcoming it? How are we talking about it? Are we sensitizing in the community? We need to sensitize people, understand what are the causes of mental disability? What are the signs of some, and symptoms of a person developing mental disability? So I think this is this is the, the thing that the government have to stand and work on it. How about... Uh, Mm, health centers, uh, clinical psychologists, doctors who, who are dealing with uh, dealing with psychosocial disability, how are they ready to, to, to support? Are they treating them uh, on the way how they should be treated? Are, are they getting the real medication that they, they should get? Why should a person be forced to go to uh, to psychosocial dis, 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 uh, to psychiatric hospitals without without their concern? Is it a human right violation? But again, is is the medication a real a real treatment than having kindness and love to the the person who are near by? First of all, give let, let, let the community be good to the person with psychosocial disability. Let them create good environment to the person developing psychosocial disability. Who, who is ready to support? Who is ready to protect? The government should be ready to protect the violence against that person with psychosocial disability and should be responsible for the, the medication, whoever wants to go for medication, be easy for, for that. Yes. How is it easy to get a psychiatric doctor? Is it expensive? How about those ones who cannot afford to pay for that doctor? 
to cancel or to, to give any other treatment and advice. Do we have that capacity as persons with psychosocial disability? No, because most of them are jobless. How about it? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Rose, for uh, sharing about your work and dwelling on the issues that people with psychosocial disabilities are facing. Um, thank mm -hmm. you so much for your time again and mm -hmm. good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Fida. Thank you so much. Talk about also isolation of children with psychosocial disabilities who are being locked inside. That is stigma and discrimination against young children with psychosocial disability. Isolation of family, families who have psychosocial disability should not be locked inside, no. They, they, they are children like any other, uh, other children without a disability. They should go to, to school. They should go around. They should pray with the others. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Thank so, you much, so much. Rose. Thank you so much for yeah, your time. Okay, okay. okay. Mm.